In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily generate a privacy policy for your Shopify store. If what you learned in this video was of any value to you, please leave us a super thanks and thank you for supporting our channel. We really appreciate it. Let's start with the tutorial. So Shopify has this built-in tool. I'm going to leave you the link in the description so you can go directly. Once you're on this page called Free Privacy Policy Generator, you're going to scroll down and most likely you're gonna get this page asking you to start a free trial. You don't have to because you may already have one. So just click on Skip a Shopify Trial down here you're going to have this little form this is the information that the generator is going to put in the whole text in the privacy policy thing so you put the name of your company your email address because it's going to be emailed out to you so you just put in there the address for your business and that's it you can put on the website and if you are capturing cookies for your customers so once you have all of this information filled out then you click on send me privacy policy shopify is going to send you an email with the privacy policy already generated for you so this is the email that I just got. So I'm going to click on it. Let me just get this out a little. And as you can see here, which says, get your privacy policy. Now we can click on this one right here. Basically, this whole document was generated with the information you put on that form. As you can see, the name of the company that I put in, this is the privacy policy for it. So basically just copy this whole thing. Just click on copy to clipboard. And we have basically copied this whole document. Now let's go back to our Shopify store and we need to create a new page. So let's go to pages and here we're going to click on add page so we are adding a privacy policy and basically just right click and paste this whole thing boom so now we have this long document it's not even that long really i know that you've never read it before but you do actually need to read this one because this is you telling the people that this is how you behave so like you're responsible for this document so you definitely need to read it so basically you know just make it pretty just scroll down and check out where you have these brackets and in all caps for example insert descriptions of other types of tracking technologies used uh, you're going to have all of these template generated things that you do need to replace place you know because like imagine one of your customers reading this privacy policy and he has all of these template things right they're gonna think you're not legit at all basically once you have all that properly formatted read through and pretty just go ahead and save that page let's go ahead and save it right here once we have that page saved, then we go to our store again and we need to add this page to our store. Basically, we can go directly to navigation, you know, just navigation and we're probably going to have a footer menu. And this is if you have like a default online store. But just in case you have made some modification, which I assumed you probably will have, let's just go to the theme and then just to customize because you're going to want to put this page somewhere, right? So this is my default storefront and I want to have that privacy policy all the way at the bottom as they go. So if I want to have it down here this is the footer menu and i have quick links and newsletter quick links right here i'm just going to click on it that's where i want to put it right below search and i can edit that menu so this is the footer menu we can delete that search thing if you don't really want it and we can click add menu item we are going to call it privacy Policy. right and then we're going to paste the link of that page specifically you can just go ahead and copy and paste the url but we can actually search for it here as you can see i'm just going to click on pages and it's going to look for all the pages that i have created and i have privacy policy right here and that's it we have one we're going to click on add and now we have the privacy policy page there i'm going to click on save menu so once you save those changes it's going to take a few seconds to update so i will advise you to give it at least a minute if it doesn't show that given it a few seconds and now let's go ahead and check out our store i'm gonna click the little eye thing scroll down and we should have the privacy policy page right here i'm gonna click on it and this is the whole document there you go you know like it has all those things that you need to change i cannot emphasize that anymore basically that's how you can get a privacy policy for your store i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave us a super thanks like and subscribe to this channel have a wonderful rest of the day my friends and stay safe out there